subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon for new video notifications hi guys welcome to automation studio this is praveen in this today's session we are going to cover uh, how to edit the qr code or the barcode in most of the situation uh, your app can consist the barcode or the qr code and it will when it will generate the QR code or barcode, then you need to validate it whether it's generated correctly or not. So, firstly, we are going to see what is a barcode or what is a QR code actually, and uh, how can we uh, decode it. So, uh, let's move to the another slide. So, barcode or QR code. Barcode or QR code is 2D machine code encrypted labels. So generally what the barcode or the QR code is, it's a, just a 2D uh, image which is generally in the encrypted form. The information will be in the pictorial manner. So uh, it was designed in 1994 uh, by a automobile company in Japan. Now it's widely used uh, for uh, uh, the apps nowadays. So if you will uh, do some purchasing or if you will uh, let's say suppose you are purchasing a ticket so it will generate a qr code uh, or barcode so they provide you the token in the form of a qr code or barcode so that uh, someone can't see your information because it is in, in the encrypted form so it might be your name it might be a it might be a digit it might be string it might be a url it, it might be anything but it will be encrypted form you can't a general person can't understand it so this is how the barcode or the qr code also works like it is in in the encrypted form so anyone can't understand it once you will decode it then only you can understand here is the qr code so it's look like uh, the blocks barcode is in the form of bars but here the qr code will come in the form of a, a small box so uh, this is also the same like the barcode the encryption will be in the block manners and it will also be in the form of encrypted and uh, uh, when you will decode it then you can extract the string or whatever uh, the form they have encrypted in the form of a QR code so you can uh, encrypt uh, the image the URL the string the pictures and many more things we are going to see here is the uh, sample site we have for the uh, barcode generator which I'm going to use for the automation testing for the demo so provide the link in the description box also so you also you can try it so let me scroll a bit let me try code 128 if I will try here and generate then it will generate the barcode you can see and if I'll try QR code then it will generate the QR code as well it will generate uh, image so we need to just decode this image uh, with the help of Java library which is called it Zzing so in case of Praveen um, it has encoded it in the form of QR code if I will decode it through the Zzing library it will give me again the back the Praveen text okay so here is the site github.com zzing slash zzing so you can visit this site also we are going to use the same stuff over here if you will scroll down you can see here the online decoder and uh, the QR code generator as well so decode means whatever the generated QR code you can decode it over here so if you have already a URL of a file which which of a QR code which you have already generated then you can simply provide here and uh, it will just decode it and this is the encoded one so let's say we generate so this is the QR code it's, it's got generated so now let me copy this URL Code it succeeded 
and raw text is Praveen and few other information is provided and here's the maven site so if you go to mavenrepository.com and type thing then search you will get the zinc core library the first one com.google.zsync if you click on that if you will try to see the latest version you can download this R from here as well as you will get the maven dependency as well so what I have done, I have just downloaded the ZAR file. So here is my iPad. I'm going to demo on the iPad uh, this tutorial. So because iPad screen is big, so it will be good. It will be visible to you all. So just I'm going to hit on the Safari scan did.com. So it will open this site. Can see here the same stuff what I have shown. Repeat and generate. Then it will generate the barcode, and then in the next scenario, we will generate the QR code like this. So it will generate the QR code, and from here we will just decode it. Okay, let's move to Eclipse. So in Eclipse, I have created a QR code reader iOS class. Uh, here I am testing for um, the both like for the QR and for the barcode. So here what I have done, I have used the edit before class tag. That means uh, before launching this particular class, it will initialize my APM driver and then wait for, um, let's wait for 10 seconds. And then I have the two tests, one and the second one. So what before class will do? So before class just initialize my APM driver. And once it is it will initialize the APM driver, then it will open the Safari browser because I am opening uh, the Safari browser here uh, on iPad Air 2. And this is the UTID for that and uh, once it is open the safari browser then it's gonna hit the url whatever i just shown you on the ipad and then it's gonna wait for 10 seconds so that's what it will do at the starting of my test case and then it will further execute these two test cases okay now let's see what these two test cases are doing so the let's uh, focus on the first one test uh, read QR code so it's gonna um, clear the value from the text field let me show you on iPad so it's it's gonna clear this value and uh, it's gonna click tab on here radio button so it's gonna select it's gonna select this radio button then it will it will clear this field and then it will hit on this generate button so already i have found the ids by using uh, uh, chrome inspector because it's a web ui so you can easily found using the chrome browser and you can inspect it so this is all about so here i am just clearing it and then this id is to click on the radio button clicking it and this is the text box the value where I am passing my QR code test and then I am hitting on the create button so uh, let me show you yep. so this one and here I am clearing it and then typing it and then clicking on the generate button so these four steps I have done uh, with the help of just appm code and then I am waiting for 3 seconds because it will take some time to reflect on the image here. And then uh, what I am doing, I am just uh, taking the attribute of SRC um, of this image, of this particular image. So uh, let me show you on the browser. Let me copy the URL. Let's move here. 
go from here itself I can show you just right click on that inspect if you will click over here you can see here the image src so this is nothing but your image under src you are able to see this text right so you need to grab this text that's why I have explicitly tell here dot get attribute as src because I need to extract the value of src so how can I do that I can just navigate to that particular image um, element and from this particular element I'm just saying give me this particular attributes value so it, it that means I'm go I'm coming to this particular and uh, navigating to this particular element once I'm once this element I will get it then I will say give me this attribute value so this attribute this attribute is holding this value right so it will give me this link so like that it will give me this link in the form of a text you can mouse over it see string so that's why I'm just uh, storing in a string with the variable as image URL so whatever the image um, formation is done over here I'm getting is a string now so I have this content in a string okay now here the actual thing is and then here I'm decoding it with one function so why this function because so that I can use in in the further automation also if I need it so I have written a function where I have pass this image URL uh, as a URL and then what it will give me it will give me a string so let's see what this function will do so let's go inside this function I have written this uh, method within my test code itself let's see here is this one so it's a static method which return me the string and which is expecting the URL so that's why I'm just putting here new URL and under that I'm passing this string as a image URL. What you can do, you can you can just remove it from here and make it like this also. Is also will work so just you have to pass the, <clears throat> the string and that's it so we are going to pass this one and just pass this thing it will work yeah. so here is the so here is the decode encode image method where I'm passing the string which is nothing but an image which we just uh, converted to the string okay so now here what's going on so here I am creating a buffer image okay where I need to uh, provide the uh, URL and uh, once I will get the buffer image then I need to pass it under luminance source object with the help of buffer image the luminance source so when I will pass it, I will get an object of a luminance source here. After that, I have the binary bitmap, and within the binary bitmap, I am passing the source. And so once I will get the object of the binary bitmap, then what I will do, I am getting the results with the help of multi formatter reader, and I am just decoding it. Because when you want to decode it, as a result. Uh, you require multi format reader with the help of decode function which where you have need the bit, bitmap object so for that you are bitmap object uh, with the help of binary bitmap map, which is accepting um, an object of uh, hybrid binarizer and which depends the luminance source so that's why we are creating these particular particular two two objects here why we are looking for the result object because result object will give you the string so result dot 
get text. So that is the reason why we are decoding it. So that is all about this and uh, for these particular things what the additional library how I have added it. So let's go to project and text in czar. So I have used this particular czar. So once once you will download it, it will I just have downloaded it as czar. So it is come came up with the name of four three two zero czar. So that is the czar file which I have added here. Defense library four czar. So see home dot Google dot zsync file. So all libraries are here which I am using over here. So I will expand it. See the same same library. So if you are using a simple project then probably you have to do it in this way Otherwise, if you are using the maven then you have to probably maven dependencies it will load the jar files so let's run it so what i'm going to do i'm going to comment it first because i'm going to run it one by one let me okay let it be Run it. So now it's running and it's opening the browser. Now it will open this candid.com. I have just zoomed my uh, tablet um, because uh, the text are really small. So that's why I have zoomed it so that you can see what's actually going on on the automation. Let me scroll it up with you. Now it should click on code 128 and then it should type the value and hit on generate button. Yes, so now it's generating the code, it's generated. Now see it's performing the validation over here. Now validation is also done. So let's move here. So I have passed the value as my barcode test and I have decoded I have the, I got the decoded text as my barcode test. So it went perfectly. Now let's try for for the QR code. So let's generate the QR code now. Now it should again start. So here we go. Now it should tap on QR radio button. Then it should read the value and hit on generate button. Then probably will get the QR code. Yes, it did it. And the QR code gets generated. Now it's decoding it. It's decoded. See here. So my QR code test and decoded string is my QR code test. So we, it decoded the QR code as well successfully. So that means our method is working perfectly. So it worked single method. What we have written here, it is work for the QR code and work for the barcode as well. Perfect. So like that, you can also use it and. Uh, that means this uh, method is working good for both of the scenario QR and the barcode. So probably you can also use the similar method where you have to just part, pass the URL as a string and then uh, you will get the decoded form of your QR code or the barcode. Uh, I have shown you just um, as a web app. So the process is very simple if you are using the web automation as well. So that's it guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video okay so this is the channel guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it if you have liked this video so please like comment subscribe and share with your friends i will see you in next video guys bye bye take care